Ohio's minimum wage increases yearly to keep up with inflation. That's the result of a November 2006 constitutional amendment passed by voters. And this year, businesses are now required to pay non-tipped employees at least $10.10 per hour. And for tipped employees, compensation must be at least $5.05 per hour. So how do some area businesses feel about that? Well, I put out the call on social media and spoke with Ruben Rojas, owner of Rojas Tree Services. And if that name sounds familiar, you may remember that I spoke to him this past summer as inflation packed quite the punch in the face of our area businesses. He tells me that as the owner of a tree trimming and growing business, it's hard to find work during this time of year, but that he works hard to keep his employees and pay them well. For the most part, I'm lucky to have a crew and the guys around me that are understanding. I'm lucky to have a partner that's understanding. I'm lucky to have a family that's understanding. And, you know, um, we're, we're also lucky to still be able to have work. We're not dead and we're not scrambling or panicking or anything like that. Rojas tells me that he finds it, quote, unfathomable that entry level jobs in 2023 are paying just as much as professions that require years of experience. They're entry level jobs to get you to a higher plateau, you know, to another job or another career in life. If they're making as much as my mechanic down the street or my ground guy who comes and works 50 hours a week sweating and using a chainsaw every day, you know, where are we able to, you know, come, come to some type of resolution on that? Rojas adds that despite that, he emphasizes that consumers need to realize that one, a lot of businesses are struggling to maintain a workforce, and two, that patience goes a long way. During times like this, I think it's important also as a country and as a, as a whole as a people that we're understanding that when we go into these fast food restaurants, we go into these Walmarts and Kroger's and the lines aren't moving so quick, you know, they're dealing with it too. You know, it's not just us at home. The businesses are suffering from it all around. As of October 2022, Ohio's unemployment rate sits at about 4.2%, down 0.3% from that same time in 2021. And the state's most recent unemployment rate is nowhere near the highest it's ever been. It was 11% in December 2009 and almost 13% in May of 2020. These were both times when the national economy faced significant, unexpected challenges. So I guess that old saying continues to ring true. History does, in fact, repeat itself. Reporting in Toledo, I'm Jane Jefferson.